Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com and I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Uh, this is the device that we've been uh, waiting for for some time and Samsung announced it a few weeks ago officially and uh, now it's here for us to play with. This is uh, a smartwatch. It's uh, Android based although uh, you wouldn't really know that from using it. And uh, I figured we'd do a, a quick look at the hardware and the software uh, before this thing hit the streets. So, uh, well here it is, I have it in orange. It's uh, a little bit loud for my taste, but I could see how some people would want everyone to know that they're wearing a super cool new smartwatch. The, uh, the band is built in, it's uh, rubber. It's not replaceable, but it is adjustable using the, uh, the clip in the back. It has a really strong closure, which is nice, so this thing won't fall off your wrist. And it is a little bit hard to open but uh, it's not that much of a problem once you get used to it. On the band itself, we have a, a camera, which uh, works surprisingly well, and uh, not a whole lot else. The, uh, the charging port is in the back. You can see the pins there, and the way that works is you take this off, clip this around there, and then uh, this dock right here actually has a USB port in the back. It's not something you would use very much. The, uh, the battery life on this is it's good for about two days, two and a half days. So uh, you don't have to bring it with you if you're just doing an overnight trip. Uh, as for the watch itself, you could see that uh, when you're handling it, it pops up now and then. But uh, just touching it doesn't do the trick and it's not on all the time like some of the competitors. What you're going to actually do is uh, press this button on the side. The watch only has the one button. So you press that display appears and then you can swipe in either direction you could swipe up that'll bring your dial pad up uh, you could swipe down that'll get into the camera the uh, it's hard to gonna be hard to tell but the camera is uh, it's way better than you think it would be it's, uh, it's not great but uh, given the size of this and and the really minimal depth it uh, the thing takes surprisingly nice pictures once you, uh, you're back in the watch, here's the main screen. So you have time, date, temperature, and weather. And in case you don't want to look outside, uh, swiping will get you notifications, S voice, voice memo, gallery, media controller, pedometer, settings, apps, logs. And then it uh, flips back to contacts. So, uh, yeah. The, uh, that, that's about it. That's all you could really do with this thing, uh, which is actually a fair bit, especially once the, uh, some apps aren't coming out. The, uh, right now the apps are basically what's already on there. So your dialer, your con camera and stuff like that. In the future, the, the list should get better. Once you do want to dial something uh, is uh, when you really start to note how much the Galaxy Gear relies on the companion device. Uh, the way Samsung really pictures it is you're not going to buy this watch on its own. You're going to buy the watch alongside, say, this Galaxy Note 3. Uh, you'll keep this on you, and uh, maybe you'll leave your phone in your pocket or in your backpack or someplace where, A, the size is not an issue, and B, where uh, you can really take advantage of the full range of the Bluetooth connection between the two. So in that case, you'd be, uh, say, you're sitting at your desk, you, uh, your phone is in your in your uh, drawer, say, or your backpack, your camera, your camera, sorry, your Galaxy Gear is on your wrist, you want to make a call, you would just uh, pull, up the, pull up the watch, here we'll act it out, dial up, press send, this will start dialing, you can see that the phone immediately pops into action. So uh, instantaneous connection, and I wouldn't need the phone. You know, we could see it here just for demo purposes, but uh, everything I, on my side would be able to be done through the watch itself. So that's pretty cool. Again, you are fully reliant on the companion device, which, uh, you know, if you're gonna buy a Note 3 or something like that, no problem. If uh, you prefer the iPhone or you just want HTC One or something like that, then uh, could be a bit of an issue. Uh, right now, as for quick verdicts, I would say the uh, build quality is nice, 
but the watch is not comfortable. Uh, I've had it on my wrist for a little while now, and uh, I feel like I'm kind of between sizes, which I guess is my own fault, but uh, you can see the size. It, it is a large device, and it's a little bit clunky. It's sort of inevitable, but uh, the main issue is the the length here. There's just really no way around that to get around that if you have a normal size wrist or maybe a little smaller wrist than normal. Uh, past that, the device, the uh, Galaxy Gear is easy to use. Uh, you know, it works as, as as advertised for the main functions. You know, your your contacts, your uh, the camera access to things like S voice and voice memo, it all works surprisingly well. So uh, that stuff is great. It's not a whole lot though. So uh, I would say read up on the features, know what you're getting into, and then if uh, smartwatch is right for you, then you're probably gonna like it. If uh, this seems really limited, then uh, you're gonna be with a lot of people where you, you're probably better off holding off for a year or two on these. So yeah, this is Sal Cajoso from geek.com and that is the Galaxy Gear smartwatch from Samsung.